What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome. Good morning uh, to Blue Ridge Silverhound. I'm your host, Sean. Thank you. Thank you for joining in. Hope everyone's doing well. What's this madness? Where's the coins, man? Uh, well, I, the, this definitely needs some attention. Only if and only if because the um, the community there's a lot more buzz uh, regarding star notes. And the question is, the question on everybody's mind is, when is a star note valuable? Some people say, well, you know, when you go through your currency, you go through your pack of dollar bills, or you get them from, you know, pocket change and, you know, whatever. Um, some will say, pull out every single star note. They're all valuable. That's not exactly the truth, okay? There's, there's kind of like this, um, okay, you have the bottom. And then you have the top somewhere, okay? The top being like the most valuable, uh, the rarest star notes. Um, contrary to popular, popular belief, there are extremely common star notes, and then there are rare star notes, and then everything else in between just kind of factors into the overall production run of that star number for that particular um, branch, all right, the, for that Fed Reserve Bank. So we're going to kind of explore, okay? We're going we're gonna to identify certain notes that cut the mustard, and then we're also going to take a look at, at notes that you should just give back, leave alone. Um, but we're also going to talk about a few other important factors in determining the overall value of these notes. But how about a little bit of shock value for you? Take a look at this $2 bill. It's a 1976 series two dollar bill if you were to go into the bank and ask for two dollar bills which there's a lot of banks you could still do that at more times than not you will come across 1976 series two dollar notes they're common they're all over the place take a look at the grade on this note au 58 it's seen some life you know beyond the strap uh, it, this note was probably put into a, a wallet at one point. Never mind the fact that it is serial number one. Uh, don't let that dissuade you. But just the overall note itself, okay, the complete picture speaks volumes. This is a note that sold for nearly $30,000 on Heritage Auctions a few years ago. I, I might have did a video on, done a video on this particular note at one point. But this is a note that someone had in their wallet and pulled right out. And they're like, oh my god, it's serial number one. And it's a star. So this is probably the most extreme example of what we're going to talk about today. Okay, And believe it or not, this note has a run size of nearly 2 million notes. Which, it's extremely common, as you can see on this diagram right here. By the way, we're on currencycollection.com. Uh, and it's crazy. It's nuts. Nearly 2 million examples, yet this one right here is sold for almost $30,000. It's serial number one, but other serial number ones that have sold in the past, whether it's a dollar or a five or a ten, doesn't sell for $30,000. They sell for maybe $2,000, $3,000. So this one right here, because of all of the different factors going into it, you have an unusual denomination, serial number one, it's a star. Um, the grade certainly does not make this one... Uh, just imagine if it was like a, a crisp 65. Do you think this one would sell for about $40,000? I don't know. That's a big what if. But the big, the big question, the big talking point today revolves around the brand new 2017 series of notes, okay, which as of a few months ago, they are out there in circulation, ready for the taking, all right? How do you know which ones are worth the most amount of money, okay? So there's this kind of like bar that's set in the currency world, specifically the star notes, in which a note becomes valuable, and it's uh, all based around the production run. Uh, so we're going to go into mycurrencycollection.com. Okay, you guys can access this. I would highly advise that you bookmark it. 
We're going to go into production tables. We're going to take a look at the newest series of 2017 notes. Okay, so as of right today, they have dollar bills on there. They got 10s and 20s represented. Okay, there are no 2s, 5s, 50s, or 100s yet. Okay, as the information is made available, they will upload that. Let's take a look at the ones. There you go. So you notice on this table right here, you have uh, you have all the various different types of um, uh, Fed Reserve banks, along with a number corresponding, you know, um, the Federal Reserve Bank number on the left side. So you have certain kind of like rows that are colored or highlighted okay the the ones that are in the deeper pink is the lowest runs for this particular note as you can see f1 i1 which is minneapolis j2 and k2 all right so yeah st louis and kansas city in there as well so those four banks in star notes and as you can see it even designates the run range so in the case of the f1 from serial number one star all the way up to 250,000 serial numbered star of that particular Federal Reserve Bank will have a run number of 250,000. That is extremely low. Now here's one here, H2, okay, where it's 3.2 million or, yeah, with a one, because here's 3.2 million right here for the higher run to 3.7 million serial number star 500,000. This number right here, this 500,000 production run, signifies the number in which a star note becomes valuable. Okay, now again, when it comes to the purchase of these particular dollar bills, fives, tens, twenties, it's whatever the customer is willing to pay for the note at that given time, okay? There are other factors as well. Grade. I mean, is it a brand new crisp dollar bill that came out of a Fed Reserve bank strap? Okay, that's going to be a huge factor in determining if and only if you have something that's going to be worth money in the secondary market to a discerning currency collector. So that's 500,000. Um, the 2000, see, we can even scroll down and see the 2013. Take a look, the F3 and F4 that you see here on the left side have exponentially lower production runs at 150,000 and 100,000. Those notes are extremely valuable, even ones that are in rough shape. All right, people want an example of this particular run, whether it's F3, F4, L1, which is a San Francisco, 80,000. You better believe that someone's going to pay up for that note. If it was uncirculated, that's like a $300 star note. It's crazy. And then let's go ahead and take a look at some 2009s. B3. See, there's the serial number range. 32,000 notes printed in that particular run. That note is worth a lot of money. Imagine finding one of those in crisp, uncirculated, just printed condition. Now it's 2009, so these notes have been around for a while. The likelihood that one of these pops up in your change or cash back or through the bank is going to be very slim. Very, very slim. The yellow highlighted amounts of 640000 okay, I have made money off of those, okay? Uh, generally, if a note in a 640,000 production range turns out to be a nice crispy uncirculated example I have sold those notes for about I don't know somewhere in the 15 to 25 dollar range um, people will buy those and typically they'll send it off for grading just to have a high high caliber specimen in their collection so even the 640,000 production range of that particular serial number still very desirable all right, and then we go back even further. So, at a glance, we took a look at the 2017 series. There are a few uh, Fed Reserve Bank branches that you definitely need to keep an eye out on, uh, the F, the I, the J, and the K. 
Um, so all of those, if you are able to find them uh, straight out of a, a bank strap, are worth a lot of money. So I pulled up one note that sold um, uh, not even a month ago. It's a 2013 $10 star note, okay, with the serial number ME000 12305 star. It says very rare, 64,000 production run. This is straight out of pocket change condition note. It's not, it's not over the top. It's not a, a brand spanking new note. This thing has, it's off center on the front. First thing you'll notice, another thing you'll notice is that there's a fold going down the middle. I, I mean, you, you know, it's, it's seen some circulation. The, the corners are a little soft on there. Sold for $200. All right, again, a production run of 64,000 notes for this $10 bill. I've also done a video on another note, a dollar bill, a brand new 2017. Let's see where, see where that one is at. So I'm going to put in 2017 star. Yeah, someone will someone will pay you 100 to 200 times face value for the brand new 2017 low production stars. You just don't know it yet. The reason why that this is a huge talking point today is that I uh, I have responded to uh, all of a sudden I have responded to a number of various posts on Facebook about some of these new finds with the low production runs of 2017. Now this note, it, the photography is annoying because uh, the seller um, took a picture sideways, didn't even bother to orientate it correctly, not that it matters. So he, he got two, $310 for this note, and uh, I could tell it's circulated. Uh, it, it, this is one of those 250 thousand production run notes uh this one is a minneapolis so you're going to be looking at on the 2017 eyes this one right here 250,000 production run and this this the seller sold it for 310 dollars back in april when it first came out The most honest thing that you could do when you're looking at these notes is just to look at them. Um, on my phone, I have an iPhone. Of course, I have I have my currency collection bookmarked on there. Quick and easy. It's easy. Let's go ahead and type this one in. Okay, so it's an I-0016-990 star. So that way you guys can get an idea of how this is typed in there. So we're in my currency collection. Go to star note lookup. And let me put my microphone aside here. Okay, we are in 2017. These drop downs ensure that you pick the right date series. Okay, so we're on the newest series. This one is an I00. Uh, one six six nine nine zero, and make sure you put the asterisk for the star. Look up your star note. Again, this is the $310 note that sold back in April. There you go, guys. 250,000 notes of this star in the production run. So he even tells you right here, printed at Fort, Fort Worth facility, April 2018. So that was last year. The, um, the various... Um, Bureau of Engraving and Printing facilities. There's one in Fort Worth. I believe there's another one in D.C. They print these in advance. Okay, The star notes are printed as a completely separate batch all on its own. And then when, when, um, when they print out the general population of other dollar bills that don't have stars, and let's say they damage the sheet or whatever, they'll take those stars and they'll plug it in. They're replacement notes. 
So, you know, you could go through a brand new Federal Reserve bank strap, okay? They come in bundles, too, of a 1000 bucks, I believe, or 2000 I don't know. But you, you could possibly pull out one of these stars, okay? You'll just see a random star note in the middle of this, you know, strap, which is all consecutive numbered, um, you know, 1 through 100 on there. But that's how it works, guys. It, it is truly, truly a one of the most underrated and uh, overlooked segments of numismatics. And the why and why I'm bringing this up now is because the last time I did the video, I believe I did the video on that one dollar bill that sold for three hundred bucks. About half of the people that jumped on there said, "Well, I'm, currency's not my thing." You know, it's like, well, it should be your thing. At the very least, if you don't collect it, recognize that the star notes coming out of your change could be worth a ton of money, okay, in all conditions. Um, this this note right here that's circulated and has that centerfold and everything else, sold for $300, guys. Brand new 2017s, which are, are live, and they are out there circulating right now. Uh, there's no better time to to keep an eye out. Even if you're not into going to the bank and picking up $500 in dollar bills to go through, it, it is worth your time. I think I'm going to do a video. I'm going to actually pick up like $500 in ones sometime in the near future, sometime this summer, as a way of kind of like, I don't know, kind of testing out how easy it is. The one thing you want to keep in mind is you're playing with house money. The same way if you're a coin roll hunting, you're playing with house money, no harm, no gain. I mean, you're spending, what, uh, maybe a, a gallon or two of gas to get to your local financial institution, picking up some dollar bills, going through them. Not only are you finding star notes, but, you know, the fancies and errors and, believe it or not, there was a lot to look for in paper money um, collecting. Um, so... Yeah, I, I wanted to end it up, end it on this right here. Um, it, it's extraordinary. You got, you guys want some other kind of like stimulating ideas of how much these notes sell for? I'm on Great Collections. All I did was type in star in small notes, and let's go ahead and see if we could find some new new notes of some sort from ones to hundreds. I know there's a few of them in here. There, 2009A, $100 bill. This one's graded, 67, so it's straight out of the strap. 380 bucks. This is a Fort Worth note. There you go. That note right there that you come across and change every so often, $380. It's not a dollar bill. I mean, it's not a, a super funny, you know, outlandish kind of like return, but this is a hundred dollar bill. Hundreds always seem to be in better shape because less people have the ability to afford hundred dollar bills, but no, there was another one. Just missed it right there. Three hundred thirty three dollars that sold, you know, a while ago. Another thing I wanted to bring up, because I looked at these hundreds right here, and it's worth mentioning that the um, they they might these notes might have big production numbers. So let's say we did the two thousand nine uh, hundreds. Actually, let me go back in there and do two thousand nine A. Or very yeah, let's just go into production tables. Uh, two thousand nine A one hundred, much like that one note that we just saw. Take a look at these. So, see these larger runs that are three three point two million. Uh, I mean, those are very common, obviously. But that note that we just saw in great collections is a three point two million note. All right. So, if you found one in a strap and you sent it off for grading, it came back like sixty six or sixty seven, which is what most notes are gonna end up at straight out of the BEP pack. Um, you're talking about a note that's worth a ton of money because of the grade. The grade, and it's a star. Not because of the run of the thing, but 
people come across hundred dollar bills all the time and you're like oh is this rare then everybody's like oh just spend it but look at these see there here's a run of 128,000 notes for this mb11 right here nobody knows that it's worth that kind of money i'm almost certain that you could get maybe triple face for this particular one in um circulated condition now i'm sure the 2017s will be out here shortly you know they do everything in succession so well guys what do you think uh it's very interesting uh again um this is this is a website that I highly recommend bookmarking because it offers so much information, and um, even if you're not hardcore into paper money collecting or even you know dabbling into it, okay, just recognizing that star notes can be valuable. Pulling up your my currency collection site, typing it in, typing in the serial number, and just seeing what the production run is. I'm not a big currency guy anymore uh, compared to what, you know, like five, six, seven years ago. But I do keep an eye out on these star notes. When they come up, I take it, throw it on eBay, and I make money. I make money off of them. And it's like the easiest money I've ever made on anything numismatically related. But anyways, I, I'm going to go ahead and end it off there. Hopefully you guys got some kind of takeaway from this. Again, the 2017 notes are out there in force. We're going to see the fives and uh, the deuce, the $2, and the 50s and 100s here soon. Keep an eye out on the tables uh, so that way you can keep yourself informed on what's hot and what's popular. And, uh, you know, that one find that you find in your change could be worth hundreds of dollars and why not make a few bucks off of it so i want to thank everyone for joining like share subscribe i'm your host sean with blue ridge silver Island. you guys take care and i'll see you on the next one